So this is game five. I've lost four for this campaign, so I'm 0-4. It's not looking good. But I'm doing harder difficulties so I can unlock more skills for my character. Uh, like I've said earlier, um, I just unlocked Fortitude, uh, which lets me uh, re-roll some of my ones and twos on my Strength die, which I only start with one, not the greatest choice. But after this, I should be able to start with one extra health, which should be nice. Um, I'm trying the Hydra just because I haven't tried the Hydra yet. Uh, I think the Hydra is actually going to be harder than the Eddie, to be honest. But, you know, if I'm going to lose, I might as well lose on something new. The Hydra's thing is everything costs three time units instead of two. Uh, so you spend one for every turn. Um, so I'll be burning through cards a lot faster, which is why I think uh, this is going to be even harder than the Eddie. Uh, but we'll see what happens. So anyway, I'm going to burn three. Um, and then another th three to encounter something. So I think for the for, I think for the Hydra, I just have to fight everything for the most part. I have to at least try to fight everything. And I just have to hope that my Daring Gamble over time doesn't screw me over. Of course, I'm starting with another Ice Elemental right away. Um, so I just said out loud that I should fight everything. One, two, three, four, five damage. I'm only rolling two blue dice. And it doesn't take pink dice for anything. And I need 11 in shield. So the Ice Elemental is like one of the few monsters that I just can't fight. So I'm going to have to run away. It was the fire elemental or the ogre. I might I might have went for it. Um, all right, arrow wall. So four pink dice, one uh, black dice. We are just going to start with uh, daring gamble. See if I roll any ones. I roll a 1 and a 2, so we're starting strong as always. I almost wish I played a character that did not have this gambling mechanic. I, I probably said that a few times. So I'm already down to health. We're not starting off good at all. Or we're or this is a great start, however however we want to look at it. So I need at least a 5 to not take more damage. So let's see what I get out of this. Alright, at least I'm not taking any more damage. I got everything that I need. Got 12 on these two dice alone. Um, so it could have been worse. It's the, it's the burning of time that really sucks. Um, this, is a, this is a sword. I need swords again in this one, so I am going to uh, take this as an item right away. Let's just hope that I don't run into a better item that I would actually have wanted to get instead. Gonna burn three. And I keep losing my chat window. Why is that keep happening? There we go. Alright, so I burned the three. I'm gonna see what's here. Phantom. Alright, Phantom. I'm not familiar with Phantom. I feel like I have not encountered him a lot. So he is ethereal, he immediately discard all ones and threes rolled. It's a lot of pink dice, no blue dice in this check. And there's two shields. And I risk one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. I guess this is the other one that I wouldn't want to start start the game with. So I'm gonna f I am gonna flee. But I get to put a, a, a card down this time at least when I do it. So this is two games in a row. This is this is a little ridiculous. Two games in a row where three of the four monsters are four XP monsters that are really strong. But you know what? I'm going after the fire elemental this time. I don't have a choice. I need the XP. So, Daring Gamble. Of course I roll a 1. Why wouldn't I roll a 1? I may die like 
on the first floor. Let's take that damage. Uh, there we go. Alright, let's see what else I can do. I need really good blue rolls, is what I need. I did not get really good blue rolls at all. Let's see what we have. A lot of ones. And I have this to deal with too. Or to use as well. Ah, so four. I have no sixes, so I can't deal with either of those sixes right now. This is this is not a good roll. The so four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, I could turn this five into a six, so let's do that. I can't deal with that six. I can deal with this three, and that's all I can do. But you know what? I'm going to deal with this three up here, because that deals me damage. So I'm taking one damage, three, three time units. Would have been nice to be able to block that other... Uh, that other damage, but you know what? If you don't roll sixes, you can't. So at least I get the four XP. Then I'm gonna use my one potion to heal back up. So I'm down to zero potions. Yeah, I know. It's a very rush, rough, uh, the rough, rough start for me. There is an expansion coming up for this game too. I don't know if it fixes any of the the weird wonky luck. Um, I'm gonna burn three to just check this last card out. I don't think it's gonna be a four XP. I would not mind a three XP. Um, I did cheat myself though on that last check. I should have rolled one more blue dice. I don't think it would have done anything for me though. Um, it might have blocked one time unit, but it wouldn't have blocked a, a six. I forgot that I have uh, two swords, which I actually didn't update this. Alright, so I can decipher it or I can destroy it. I'm probably going to decipher it since, well, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm still going to decipher it because a 6 is better than a 11 when I am only rolling these three dice. So once again, we have to daring gamble our way through this. Don't roll a 1. I did not roll a one, I rolled a bunch of twos, which is not super helpful. I need at least a five on one of these dice, and then I then I survive and I'm good. I did not get a five at all, so I'm taking another damage. No matter what I do. But I do get the XP. Um and then I have to burn two time units as well. So I have three time units get burned and I take one damage. Do three and so I should be down there we go actually no I healed up no, I fought the fire elemental yeah no I healed up sorry I should be at four I only fought two things so far. No, I fought three things, sorry. Never mind. I think that's the right health. Am I at two out of five? Did I really take six damage so far? I don't think so. What was this first check? No, I passed the magic shield. I passed the rush through. Took, I took two damage from rolling ones and a bunch of damage from this. But yeah, I think I'm at four health. I don't think I'm cheating. I think I just didn't set the uh, counter up there. I could check the replay, but that's a lot of work to go back to do. But I think I took six damage total. I don't think I took eight damage total from three, three encounters. Actually, I don't even think I took uh, six damage. I, took, I think I took four damage total.
guaranteed one from this, one, two, and then it was one from the fire elemental. Yeah, pretty sure that's right. If I'm wrong, then it's human error, but I can't really fix it. But I'm 90% I'm sure I'm correct. Not that it's going to help me one way or the other anyway, if I did accidentally just keep myself, but don't think I did. Anyway, uh, I don't think I can encounter either of these guys as much as I want to, so I'm going to burn three. And I don't know why I just put them face up. That was dumb. Now that was actual cheating. So what I will do is I will take these two. Sometimes in this game, and things are not going well, you start spacing out. Let me reshuffle these. It sucks because both of those are cards I actually wanted to encounter. I wanted uh, an easy check, not a hard check. So let's see if I screwed myself over. Face down, face down. I burn three. To encounter one. Yep. Of course, I did screw myself. So I'm going to have to flee and encounter this instead. So I burn one and then put two on the stairs. I'm going to go after the cave in. So as per usual, I'm in a situation where if I roll a one in either of these dice, I'm guaranteed to take two damage. So don't roll a one in either of these dice. Roll a one. That's my third one this game. So that's two more damage, but I get a three and a one. It's like I'm suiciding myself to level up in the campaign. I guess that's kind of how like a roguelike might work. Anyway, I did get everything else that I need for this card, so I do level up. I'm level two, I get a potion. I get to heal with that potion, which I will do instantly. Um, where's my level two card? So I go from um, back up. Yeah, actually I'm down to, uh, sorry, I'm down to four health, not five health, because I rolled a one. I almost want to start a new character at this point, and um, you should be. this should be face up to you. Anyway, I'm not going to encounter any of these other guys for this floor. I'm taking a beating, a one deck beating. But that does put me in a guaranteed three XP, so I'm leveling up something. Um, and I do have to remember that I have these abilities over here too, but none of them, none of them as far as I can tell would have been very useful. All right. Yeah, because I haven't done any any checks for strength yet. Almost all of my combat abilities are for strength checks. Until planning. All right. What I really need to stop doing is just starting with four XP enemies right away every single time. That does get old really quickly. All right. New dungeon, level two, burn three cards. So I have to burn three to explore. One, two, three, four. I have to burn three to encounter. So I'm gonna encounter this room. It's a boulder, it's a four XP boulder. So we are going to encounter this one. And let me check this Hydra. I don't know, it needs a little bit of everything. So getting this as an item card would not be the end of the world, although I might just take the XP. But let's see, let's see how this goes first because I might not even survive it. Have to dare and gamble now because I am behind and now I have to gamble to get ahead. 
no ones, but I rolled a pretty poor two and three. Not super helpful, although that three does take care of the shield, so somewhat helpful. I need a five in this to not take damage. I got one five. I got the three. And then I need 14. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I don't have enough. Can I do anything? I can. I can I can just take the one damage from up there. So I do it this way. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I I've run past it. I beat it on the physical card. But uh I take one damage from uh, the sticky surrounding and one time damage. Not the best result, not the worst result. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate the follow, too. Have a good one. Um, yeah, I need the, uh, the health, so I'm going to... Take this as an item instead of XP. No, I'm gonna take the XP. I need the heal, I need the potion. Might regret that later, we will find out. All right, so I burn three, one, two, three. That's a nice little two. Uh, X per open door, there's only one open door. Um, but it's a lot of swords, and I only have two swords. But we will see. I do have to Daring Gamble to get through this, I think, as well. It's a pretty good roll. Better than my other rolls so far. So. Not the greatest roll. Let's see. Let's see what we're dealing with. All right. So I need. So no, I don't have uh, any any of those abilities. So what can I do? First, I can reroll any yellow twos using fortitude, and I get a two. But I can't reroll that again, so that was a waste. Alright, so I need a four here first before anything can anything else happens. I need a four there. I can turn this one. So that's not the best way to do this. Actually it is the best way to do this. Five, five, three, actually we want to not take damage. We'll do it this way. Um, stop two damage here, stop two damage here, then uh, turn this one, this uh, yellow two into a three. Oops. And then four. It's the first card that we successfully beat ends up this run without taking any damage or anything let's celebrate Ugh. take the xp or i could take the dice in this case i'm just gonna i'm gonna get the extra dice Burn three. So that puts us at another one of those. And I just realized we are at level two already. All right. So I burn three. Floor, plague rat per open door including this one was this open door too well it's too late 
can't really undo it, but I think it was, yeah. They're both swarm per open door. So it's a four. So I'm starting with this. I get these four, these two, these two. Not feeling confident, so I'm going to Daring Gamble. I'm behind. Awesome, no ones. Um, this looks like I could survive this. All right, so I need to get that shield first and be able to catch the, the mice. Um, so I can reroll all ones and two, yell twos. So let's do that. Uh, and that was yell five. Um, and it was yell five. I just, it was off the screen. Um, so we have a pink five, yell three, um, pink five. All right, we got all this. Boom and boom. Second card that we've been able to tackle. So this one we are going to do is XP. Um, hmm. Persistence is pretty good too. Let me think. I can take two yellows and basically roll a yellow and a black instead. So it upgrades a dice and it lets me re-roll crappy dice. The only problem is you have to roll two. Hmm. Oh, and I cheated myself again too. I'm supposed to be rolling one more of these, but it didn't. Didn't matter. I have another yellow five to deal with to work with too. Um, I really want to level up. Yeah. There. I'm just gonna go after the XP. I need the XP. Six. One, two, three. It's a force wall. Great. Ah, so this would have been a great item to have if I would have not taken that. So now I'm going to end up wasting an XP, but if I get through it, it's fine. I'll level up with it. So I'm getting, sorry, wrong dice. I'm getting four pink. Um, if I want to climb around this, I'm going to end up burning three, three hearts, but I don't really have much of a choice. Um, I have to daring gamble once again, could use a good roll in this. Three threes, not worse. So I need to get at least a five to not die on this. That's all I need to not die is a five. I think got the five. Okay. We totally, totally beat it. Three, five total. I'm not even going to count it up. To take the XP. So let's do this in order. First, I gotta burn the three. One, two, three. I do that because of uh, the cost to uh, do that check. Could have actually burned it before I uh, rolled the dice. Um, eight, ten XP. I'm gonna hit level three. Those cards get removed from the game. So I am now level three these other XP cards together so I don't lose them. What does that do? That gets me a potion. Got my one potion. I'm at level three. Nothing else has changed because I didn't get any health. I wish going up a level at some point would give you a health. That would have been a worthwhile like level three. Realize I'm playing on the wrong level. Have I been doing this the whole time too? I'm gonna be so mad at myself if I've been playing on the wrong side. All right, so level one, I have been. I've been totally screwing myself. I've been playing on the wrong level. I should have been at three items, three skills. So we're gonna undo that.
We are gonna we are gonna undo that. I wonder if I've been I'm gonna have to look through all the games and see if I've been doing that. So I'm gonna take this as an item. Wonder why this feels harder as a single player. <sighs> Alright. That gives me so that puts me back down to level two. How is that? Six XP. Um, puts me at four of these dice, and it puts me at an extra health. And I'm gonna have to look back at all my games to see if I've been doing that. Because that definitely mattered during the Yeti game. There was a few times that I wanted to take take an item, but it couldn't because I had to level up first. But I don't have a potion now. I wonder if the level up values are the same too. Nine, nine, yeah, they seem to be the same. All right, and then we gotta burn three. One, two, three. To uh, score a card. Um, so we are going to jump over this. So we are going to Daring Gamble first. Well, that's a good roll. Feeling much better now that I'm playing with the right XP cards. I don't. I don't know. Like it's not going to change that much, but it changes enough. That's that's for sure. All right. So we have the five. We have the three, actually have it this way, and then we have more than 14, 11, yep. Yeah. So we get this card, we're gonna level up now. Now we level up. So we're gonna hit level three. Five items, four skills, that makes a big difference. Seven items, five skills. Jeez. Yeah, I definitely think I've been playing on the two-player side this whole time. Oh, oh well. Oh well. That's like super hard mode. All right. Anyway. Burn three. Phantom again. Well, he'd be a he'd be a great card to pick up. Let's look at this Yeti again. Swords and pink are all the how oh, you cut off its head. Oh, and I get a potion again too. Right. dice and four pink dice I think I can go after him this is if I don't go after him now when when when's the best time ever right so we are going to daring gamble just let's just not start off with the one confidence sake all right four and a two the two is gonna be useless I think but we have the four Super shaky roll. Uh, it's not looking like a great roll. I think I'm going to be taking a bunch of damage here. Alright, so I have to do... So actually, hold on. First, I can re-roll these two. Forgot about that. I 
gives me a five and a three. All right, so first I can turn these two blues into a black because I have no use for the blues. means I can use this for that or actually do it this way use that for that and use this yellow four for that um I have a pink six let's just see what sixes I can do I have a I have a bunch of fives so let's do this five let's do this five um we can do this five Um, I can use a yellow as a pink. Let's do that. And I could turn this uh, pink, increase this by two to turn this into a six. I'm just taking one damage. That went pretty well. One damage for a strong card. I take a damage to basically gain a, dam uh, gain a health anyway. Puts me at five swords, I take a damage. I'm gonna use my one free potion that I have to heal back up to max. All right, feeling pretty good about that. One, two, three. All right, so we can get one more card out of this. We can start going for our last level. I can still get one more item. Start needing blues at some point. All right, so if any armor boxes are empty, discard this instead of looting. Not 100% sure if this combo is with this, but well, we're gonna go after it. We have to, um, and we are going to daring gamble as always. Daring gamble does not kill us this time if we screw it up either. Six and a one, we take a damage, um, and three time units. So one, one two. Uh, we have a six and a one to start with. Then we get one, five yellow dice. One, two, three, four, five. Four pink dice, two blue dice. Uh, I don't like this roll. Lots of ones and twos, but let's see what we can do. We need a three. We need a four. I can use pink, uh, yellows as pinks. I can reroll um, all ones and twos, and I can reroll. Um, I think I can reroll heroic dice too. Actually, probably not. Probably not just these two. But three and a four. So what does that get me? It doesn't really get me much. Gets me this four right here, covered. Five. I'm gonna have to increase this up to uh, five, to six, and then it's, what, can I do anything, any of this stuff? Um, I can use this for that.
I'm taking some damage no matter what I do. That extra time unit, is there any way I can have to do that? and twos, I can use yellow as pink, but I can't use pink as yellow. Why can't I use a pink as a yellow? That would, that would solve my issue here. Do this. two fives, sorry, these two fives into a black five, and now I'm only taking one damage instead of two. Um, I can deal with one damage. So, boom. Now do I want to take this as a blue card? I also like the crushing blow ability, I'm going to do that. And not worth it to encounter anything again, so. Time to shuffle. We made it to level three. Whoops. Something I didn't think was going to happen, but we did. So we're doing better than last game. I think playing this correctly is going to help us in future games. So, level three, Poison Aura. All heroic dice are decreased by one after rolling and checking out other effects. Great. Just what I need. Oh, well, a crushing blow should come in handy then because of that too. So I burn three. Um. Puts us at one, one, two, three, four. Where I could clobber the logs. I think I'm gonna have to clobber the logs. Actually, roll more yellow dice now than I do anything else. But because I have two shields to deal with, I also have to daring blow. Awesome. No ones rolled. Alright, so all of these fives are now fours. That sucks because of the poison. Um, so I have a five. 
four, I have a six, and I need eight. I have eight with two dice. Boom. Perfect. Um, I will take the three XP. We are going to try to hit. Um, gonna try to hit uh, the next XP level so we can heal up before the final fight. Have the potion if we need it. Um, get an extra guaranteed dice and maybe try to sneak in an extra skill or an item. Sorry. So burn three. Okay. Same, same concept. Don't think that Hydra has armor. Nope. So crush, armor crush, and that does not do anything for us. All right, so we roll two. So we take one damage. Burn three time units. two don't get because decreased because they are for the encounter uh, this gets decreased by one because of the poison I just read that differently um, so I have to do five or I do it this way I don't think it's enough two three four five six so I'm gonna have to um, Two, three, four, five, six. I have to take the six back. There's nothing I can do. Even with all those dice, I'm forced to take uh, one time damage and one actual damage. Well, rolls are not going my way, that's for sure. I still need five XP. Sorry. That's six XP. this rate I'll be lucky if I don't die 4 XP check but of course it's a frost elemental which is a lot of blue dice and blue is what I'm not doing well now but we have to go for it So, daring roll, daring gamble, sorry. So we got a six and a two. Covers one of those blue. Ah, oh, this, is, this is the worst roll. <sighs> and I can't even re-roll re any of the yellows. I'm not going to be able to cover any of the blue spots. I can cover one blue spot. And that's not even the one I think I'm going to cover. Probably going to cover this one. Let's see what I can do first. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to turn these two blue. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't think I need to do it that way. This still gonna be horrible no matter what I do. Six, I need a five. Turn this into a five. I'm gonna take this 
one and make that a, a five. This gives me five, six. Actually, I have this, this, this two that I'm not doing anything. So, sorry. Turn this back into a four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Doesn't really do anything for me. Change anything. Actually, no, it doesn't still. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. this turn this into turn this to make this a four still taking three damage and two time units and there's really nothing I can do about it Take three damage, I die. This will be another run ended prematurely because of a bad dice roll for. Turn this into six. I don't know if that does anything for me. something to be a five and there's just no way to do it actually there is okay what am I thinking I got, what am I thinking here sorry um, take this six out four five six seven um, four five six seven eight nine ten Turn these into the black two. I don't know what that does for me, but four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But this lets me put this yellow six on top of a pink five. Um, so that keeps me at two damage and three time units. That's the best that I can do. Nope, and I can still do this. Um, Two damage, two time units. That's the best that I can do. And then one, two, so I'm not dead. Yet. We'll take this as a... I can see one more health. That also gives me one more pink die to work with. Now I'm maxed out on skills. So the hope here is to get a 3 and a 2 XP. Or 4 XP. Totally would want this giant, or this ogre, after I level up. 4 XP puts me at 10. I 
Ugh. Well, I mean, this is going to be the best I'm ever equipped to go after him since I'm rolling five. Five. One, two. So I have to hope I don't roll any ones. Of course, I roll a one every time. Every time. There's not a single time. See what I can do. If I take even one damage, I, I die, so. Oops, I dropped the dice. Give me one second. Hey Francis, sorry I didn't see you. Um, I dropped the dice on the floor, I was picking it up. I think I'm about to die for the fifth time. Although I did roll a blue six, maybe that will change my fate here. D4, five, three, one. So I think the first three games I might have been cheating myself. I'd have to go back to the tapes and look. But today I started playing on the two player side, which made everything a lot harder, but I have a feeling the first few games I didn't do that, but today, the my first game, I did it. So the goal today is uh, I'm playing the level two dungeons so that I can get the XP I need for these extra talents. Um, I did the Yeti's dungeon before, died on the third floor. Um, I'm on the third floor of the Hydra's Reef and I'm about to die, I think. But this this means I'll be able to uh, at least get the durability and start working on the, uh, the planning talent. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm fighting an ogre. Oops. We're going to see if I can beat it. If I take even one point of damage, uh, I die. All my blacks get decreased by one after being rolled. Sorry, actually, four does not, but this three does. So first things first, I can re-roll all of these. So let's re-roll them and hope that I can roll pretty high, because otherwise it's looking like I'm gonna be dead. And I rolled two threes and a one. All right, so what can I do with all this? Well, this this six is gonna go there. Um, this six is gonna go there. So this is probably the most equipped I am to defeat an ogre, and I'm still gonna die. Um, what can I do? I can turn this two into Five. I could turn this one into a six. Main problem I have right now is I'll have a few problems. I can't cover that uh that red five, so if I take that damage I'm dead. And I basically have a bunch of dice that I can't really use. I can use yellow dice as pink dice, but that doesn't really do much. Um, what can I do? 
Yeah, so it's looking like that I am pretty much going to be dead. Um, so I kind of have to use these sixes as fives, which is pretty inefficient. And then that leaves me with all of this. A five, so ten. Actually, I need to do that too. So ten, twelve. Yeah, I don't even have enough for any of that. So even if I use these correctly, six um, and nine, I still only have four pips left. I don't, I don't even have enough pips to cover, to cover all of this. So yep, uh, looks like I am dead. So that is my fifth loss. So let's write this down. I lost to the Yeti. I lost to the Hydra. Dragon, dragon, dragon. So I'm a big fat 0 and 5. It's starting to make me think that I'm playing wrong, but I mean, the only thing I can think of is this stupid daring gamble. I mean, some of the other characters just don't have that mechanic. Let's see. This, should, this lets you roll dice, but you just spend time instead of uh, gambling. Um, this just gives you an automatic uh, heroic dice every single time you face something with 4 XP. Um, she also just gets one for free. And you explore or free or flee, you get to place a dice there. Max two, you may roll them before any encounter. Then the warrior. For each damage time you take, you get a heroic dice. That's an interesting, interesting way. Yeah, I'll get seven, five, six, seven, six, seven. Oops. I don't know. I don't know if I'd be doing better with any other characters. Oh, thank you, yeah. I didn't create the uh, the thing at the bottom of the screen. Actually, the designer of the game actually created it. I just kind of stole it. <laughs> um, but now that I've seen it, I'm probably going to try and copy it for future, copy it for future games as well. Um, yeah, pips are the dots on a dice. So total pips, I don't even have enough to cover all the numbers that I need to cover, despite all the dice that I rolled. Five yellow, five pink, three heroic dice, and two blue dice. Um, all the uh, all the dungeon stuff, like total, I didn't even have enough to cover everything, even if I had better roll uh, with all the dice that I had. So, so anyway, um, so what happened here? Uh, let's write this down. Uh, Yeti was. Two uh, dungeon levels. No, it was uh, died on the second dungeon level. So one level, two level up, plus two XP. Hydra was two from levels, two from level up. Plus two XP. So I'm getting six this time. So I'm going to use one on durability. That gives me an extra health. Maybe that will go a long way. And I guess I'm just going to dump them all into planning. So one, two, uh, three. I'm going to do it this way. I have one extra in planning that I need. So we're gonna go back to the we're gonna go back to the dragon and see if we can face him with one extra health now. From everything I gather, the rogue is supposed to actually be pretty pretty powered. So I'm either just playing really wrong or just the difficulty is is hard. And people who say they can beat it more frequently are lying. Maybe I do during Daring gamble way too often. Maybe I don't get items fast enough. I don't know. I just don't know. Let's 
So we are going to reset this game. And we are going to go back to the dragon now because I have all the XP I need um, to level up the next skill. And my goal is to beat one of these, one of these, uh, I mean, I want to beat all five, that's the, that's the goal, but to beat one of them today. If I don't beat it today, I might give up on this game. If I beat one today, then I'll at least have some, some hope. So, the stuff I have combat is right here. They don't have cards, so you just kind of have to memorize them. But right now, um... I can re-roll all my yellow ones and twos. I can use a yellow as a pink. Um, I get an extra health to start the game with. And I start the game with any one basic skill, which is this precision. Um, seeing if, the, if I want to change any of this, but I don't, I don't think so. I think I'm going to still stick with precision. I move my camera so where things line up is that I keep screwing that up. Alright. So level 2, level 3, level 4, there's level 1. So level one is one item, two skills. Kind of wish it was the other way around. Two, two items, one skill. All right, so we are just shuffling now. I'm feeling a little bit better about this dragon's cave. I think I'm gonna do it. Stop this recording. I just realized.